Hello. Hello. Audio. Jungle. Oh my god, I'm glad I tested that. I didn't... I didn't have my tracking on. Audio jungle! Welcome, welcome back to the stream. Today is a, today we're having our monthly subholders meeting, which is where I report back into you, our shareholder, I mean our, my subholders on performance of the stream in the past month. And so we have a lot to go through today. Yes, we have a lot to go through today. Many numbers are going up. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to get it right into it, actually. I'm, I'm... <laughs> I don't want to get right into it. Oh, all water. A water. The good news, the good news is streaming is is really nice and relaxing. No, I sound flustered. Uh, it's because every stream I am, I'm like, man, this is the last time I'm preparing a really last minute for this stream, and then the next day comes and then it it happens. I'm not unprepared. I'm not unprepared. Uh, why don't we just chat a little bit? Why don't we just talk a little bit? That was the audio fucked? Oh shit, oh shit, I see, I see. It's playing, it's playing twice. That's fucking awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Music's loud. It's fixed now, right? Super good. Super good? Okay, good. I don't know why, why people... And why did that voice leak through? That's, that's scary, okay. You like the double? I like it, I like the when uh, Tayzonde streamed. And then he uh, doubled up his thing. I have the power. He doubled up his, his, uh... What the fuck? Why is it? Oh, I know why you're talking. I know why. Okay, that's why. See, yeah, I'm glad I didn't jump right into it. That would have been, that would have been a problem. That would have been a problem. Today is 9-11 in Europe. What is that? What? 11-9. Oh. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up. Don't get me in trouble. Don't get me in trouble. I need to make this announcement. I'm going to make this announcement on every stream for like a, a week. Let's let's pull back. Uh, uh, new ground rules, okay? Let's pull by. Let's pull back on the ironic fascism. Because that's what got us into... This whole situation, and uh, if we're and, and the new thing is if we're RPing historical figures, oh my god! If we are RPing historical figures, uh, don't be a dickhead like them. So if you're like Thomas Jefferson, don't don't say like a really racist Thomas Jefferson thing. I will treat it as if you are actually being super racist. Okay, so you, you're responsible for your words. You can't say, I was just RPing Thomas Jefferson. That's not gonna work. All right. They're out to, they're out to get me. The, track, the tracking Illuminati's out to get me. Um, okay. What happened to the secret stream, Jesus? Uh, well, that, it was no one here. I banned the dude, but some guy came in and like, straight up just put racial slurs in the text to speech. But, uh, what, what is the fuck is going on? My tracking, oh my god. I don't recalibrate, sorry.
Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, I should get a recalibrate emote. That, the T's are nice. The T's are nice. Thank you. Okay, those are new ground rules, all right? I think I think everyone's cool here. I'm definitely responsible for for some of it, or for all of it, really. It's my stream. Um, I'm, I'm definitely responsible for a lot of it, um, so that's that's my bad. I'm sorry. But uh, let, let's tone down the ironic fascism and... Um, yeah, if you're, if you're RPing... What is... What is going on? If you're RPing a historical figure who's a dickhead, uh, don't actually be a huge dickhead in the chat. Um, okay. Now, now to the second part, which is why is my head stuck, like, on a... hit it like that. What, why is it doing that? Like, what the... The actual... Oh my god! Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I need to tee- I need some tees. I need some tees. I'm re-teeing. Alright, now that seems better. I think it was something with the, the head tracking on my phone and it's like blocking my mic or something. Anyway. Set up out. <laughs> I moved you guys over there because I knew if you're up here, I could I could hurt you really easily. I could just I might get too physically aggressive. So that's why you're moved over there. Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm glad we got all that um all that out of the way. Um. Where do I find these groovy beats? Everyone asked this. I need a I need a chat command to do this. This is um Nintendo 64 Nintendo 64 drum and bass mixed. This is the Bomberman host. Yeah, that's right. Friday! Fi Friday's Veterans Day. Any any uh, veteran supporters or veterans in the chat, thank you for your service and uh, for the holiday. Double thanks. Du wait, this way? Double thanks. Wait, I actually forgot which way it was. I've been playing Modern Warfare, so I don't want to say it's, uh, you know, I'm not going to say I've made the sacrifice, but I, it's pretty close. It's pretty close, okay? You invested years of your lives to put yourself on the front line, uh, and I paid, look, Modern Warfare is not cheap. It's, uh... It's uh seventy dollars. So that that was my sacrifice. <laughs> Virtual war crimes and honor. That dude, Modern Warfare 2's campaign. I've never played any Modern Warfare campaign. I've never played any Call of I've never played any Call of Duty campaign. I think the the one that's the most memorable to me is Medal of Honor. I played that one. The old school, the really the first Medal of Honor. It, it is insane. There's a kind of spoilers, but I think it's worth discussing. There's a line, there's like a conversation that happens in the game that goes, that basically goes, you mean to tell me you're gonna, we're gonna take on the entire Mexican army? It's okay. They're all being paid by the cartel. Now, clear a path for my men to get through. And then you just, ins you basically incinerate like a hundred, <laughs> A hundred recruits of the Mexican army. I'm like, this is kind of insane, but all right. Yeah, we'll roll with this. Remember, no cartel. Yeah, they took no Russian, and then just they did. They didn't actually pull it back. They just expanded it in a in a in a very weird way. I don't know how. I I know of no Russian. I know that that mission, but I don't know how much. Why am I? everywhere what is going on i don't know how much of um 
Come on, I need to fix my body. I don't know how different this new Modern Warfare re reboot is like from the original. What is what is happening? Okay, I'm gonna recalibrate again. You played no Russian in your high school youth group? That's... That's wild. That's actually wild. Yeah, I've just been playing multi- I played the campaign- I'm playing the campaign. I'm at the sniper mission, which I'm really not a fan of. It's way too slow for me. Uh, but up to that point, it was really like basically a Michael Bay movie. Super fast-paced and fun. And then I'm just playing multiplayer with my friends. I, I, I typically don't buy a lot of video games anymore, so I don't, I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. But I want to play, I know everyone's playing it right now, but because everyone's playing it, I want to play it. And it's been on my backlog for so long, is I, I need to play Resident Evil 4, and then the Resident Evil 2 remake. I know like all the, all the it's like the VTuber meta now. I swear to God, this one VTuber, it's like I'll watch Hanamimi play it first, and then I swear to God, everyone will play it, play whatever series. First, first oh, yeah. oh, Gander! Thanks for getting that first blood. You are verified. You are verified. I've been, the, the crazy thing is, I remember seeing the review for Resident Evil 4 on X Play. And then thinking, man, I really need to play this game. And I just had that thought for the past however long it's been out. Double sound effects? Why is that? Oh, from the... Yeah, yeah, probably from the... Uh... From the stream. Okay, I know how to fix that. One second. Wait, that, the audio's not enabled. My OBS mixer is a is a war is a war field. It's an absolute war field. Sound alerts, monitor only, stream alerts. It shouldn't be double. So I have no idea. Sorry. I think the problem with the RE4 is if you didn't play new release, so many games copied it, it wouldn't be as impressive anymore. I can't remember the last good third-person shooter game I played. Maybe Gears of War, like, 5 with my friend co-op. That was pretty fun, but that's Gears of War. So I haven't real. I, 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 I think I can say I've never played a game like RE4 yet. Have I, I've not played Lost Planet 2. I'm playing, right now I'm playing uh, Fury, playing through Fury, which is like a, a boss rush game. It's really fun. REHD project on PC is the best. I, I have it on PC. I, I don't have a console. It's everything I play is on PC. We should play it? Okay, I'm down. Then we'll talk about gaming later in, in the sub holders meeting. Alright. I'm ready. I'm ready to start. I'm ready to start the meeting. Okay. Are you guys good? Are you guys comfy? I want to welcome all the sub holders here. Is everyone feeling comfy? I saw Pat from Polygon was playing RE4. Super effing comfy. Not sub though. Yo mama. I need to get my nachos, but I am in fact comfy. We chillin'. Yay stonks time. Pretty sleepy. Stonks go up. This is the catered lunch table right. I really need to pee. I'm very comfy, thank you for asking. Waiting for McDonald's, but we chillin'. These nuts are super comfy. I don't trust this quiet guy. Verified lunch group. <gasps> Here to find out. Wait, that's right. You is all the are company verified. Hold private? on, I need to get you your badges. I'm is so Elon sorry. Is Elon Ma buying us out? 
I'm oh, so yeah. sorry. Let me get you your badges. You got us chicken nuggies last meeting. Oh, he just talked about his nuts. Very nice. More baby voices, please. I only eat vodka and cigarettes. So, how much are you guys being paid? Oh, I have wait. the biggest badge. What is happening? I swear 10 people are assigned to Pepe 1. Oh my god. As a oh baby, god. I only eat cigarettes soaked in vodka. Thank you for the badge, I was waiting for that handout. R.I.P. in peace Pepe 3. Incredible things are happening. Shindigs were worried about your performance this quarter. We need to see some improvement or we're putting you on a PIP. I no, ballot no, box no with check ballot PIP'd box here. with check ballot no box with check PIP'd ballot PIP'd box here. with check ballot box with check ballot box with check. I voted. I voted too. I feel so verified right now. I heard we're bringing back site instability. Sounds good. Oh, we are. Your therapist being a subholder, a conflict of interest? I don't think so. I Ohio watched. You okay? If I get verified here, does that mean it'll become important? Yes. Voted asterisk. Can our feelings also get verified? Yes. Shindigs voted for Dr. Oz. You guys are, are really good guys. We won't hold back from pulling the plug on your model tracking. Parentheses gender neutral guys in that context. Ohio voted. Shame about Tim Ryan. I miss my ex-wife. Let me ask, as the majority shareholder, what are you actually bringing to the table? My shares. Heaven or Ohio. You decide, you cannot. Oh, by Bo Goat. Shindigs for governor, or whatever. All right, so I assume I assume you guys are feeling comfy. Oh my, I voted. I I feel you guys are feeling pretty comfy. So uh, I want to welcome all of you to our monthly subholders meeting. Uh, every subholders meeting, we go through the last month's stream performance, and we talk about some highlights, what kind of gone, what could have gone better, and. What were you planning to do in the future? Where are we going to take the direction of the stream? All thanks to all the subholders right now attending attending this meeting. Now, if you are not a subholder, you know, there's no pressure to become a subholder, but you might want to stick around for the presentation because we're going to be introducing so many more benefits to our current and future subholders that the value of becoming a subholder is is just gonna skyrocket. It's just gonna skyrocket. Okay, just like the stream is, this is how the screen the stream is skyrocketing. The value of becoming a, a subholder is gonna skyrocket. Okay, just like how my head is pinned for some reason pinned to the wall. I don't understand it. Ugh. Please, please work. Oh my god. Why does that happen? Do I need to recalibrate? What is happening? Okay. No, no, we're good. We're good. You know what? Uh, I'll just T-pose. I'll T-pose for... Uh, I'll T-pose for... Uh... Oh, you know what it is? It's not... Is it this? Okay, I don't know. If anyone in the chat uses VC face, it's been fucked up since the NVIDIA driver update. I swear to God, this might not be it, but NVIDIA is going to get all the blame. NVIDIA gets all the blame for the next month because because their drivers broke so much shit. I just pulled my hair back and it what is happening? Is it is it better if I stand back here? Is that what it wants? Is that what it wants? OK, I'm, I think standing farther back is better for some reason. OK. This is how every meeting starts. Yes. Well, if you're an Amazon style company, every meeting starts with us reading a like one to six page document for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we discuss it. So 
If you guys prefer that format, I'm down. I can write up, you know, a one to six page document for everybody. We all sit quietly, read it, and then we can have a discussion. I'll go through all the comments and uh, we'll run an actual meeting. I will run an actual meeting here like I would run an actual meeting at work. If we double our sub count. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Please no. I'm giving if if you know if you're still in school that's you could say that's valuable work experience. If you are like currently looking for a job or you are in school about to graduate and going to look for a job, you could just cite my stream as actual work experience. Wouldn't that be awesome? If you could just say, "Oh yeah, I've attended and run meetings with uh 30 to up to 60 people at a time." You sure that go well? Uh, I'll just give you a number in which I'll pre-record my responses for the recommendation. And then when they call, I'll pause for like 30 seconds. I'll be like, oh, yeah, I know them. But, you know, it's all pre-recorded. But it'll, it'll be spaced out. So on average, it'll be a good recommendation. Over 400 hours team led, 800 hours partner meeting head. Exactly. You included being a mod for a guy on Twitch on your esports resume. At this point, that's valid. That's super valid. Okay, well, let's get going with the rest of the subholders meeting. So let's go over last month's performance numbers. And I am super excited to tell you that we are up. We're up. Viewership is up month over month. We've, you know... This stream has been steadily growing over time. We can see it. We can love it. The numbers, they're going up. And this, it's, a, it's a big jump. And to be honest, a lot of it is uh, is uh, big raids. And, you know, I, I, I live in reality. I know ra people on raids, they don't really stick around all the time. But I've been noticing more and more people coming to the chat saying they found it either through uh, Atriox Raid um, it was the biggest raid I think last month, uh, or the recommended, the recommended channel, which I think is if other people like what from other channels watch my channel and there's like similar viewership, I'll like recommend it to other people. So if you're here from other channels that I frequent, thank you. And if you're, if you've ever rated the channel, thank you. Uh, it, I, I'm starting to see it. But unfortunately, I can't really parse it out from the Twitch analytics right now. But, you know, like I always say, fuck actually looking at the dashboard. Just ask someone in the chat and hope they don't lie to you. That's my uh, that's my data gathering process when I'm not being paid to do it. Are we making numbers go up? Numbers are going up. OK, wait, hold on. What's this? Click to wait, click to add title. I think someone, I think, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Frogs, I'm very, I'm so sorry. Frogs, I'm so sorry. Uh, but I, we, we hired, we hired someone to do some of these slides. Uh, this, this is very sloppy on my part. Uh, I, I, uh, I'll make sure, I'll, I'll make sure they're incinerated. I'll make sure. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Fire everyone. Holy unprofessional Mr. Diggs. I think it's cool. Can you make it CPP? Shindig's mind broke messy slides, stock price plummeting. You should be sorry, please fix. Wait, we can incinerate people. Stonks are dropping faster than Tisla's burn. Are we paying for incineration? I paid $8 for this check, and I won't have my money wasted. The bars are not going up 100% per steam. Why is that? Bring in the man responsible for this. I want that twink obliterated. We want our returns. We want our juice boxes. The incineration pays for itself as we burn the human flesh it becomes fuel for the next incineration. Oh shit. Awkward silence. 
Where are our chicky nugs? Sir. The kids think scuff is cool. Let's keep it. Money. CH. Trick or treat. Hey, are the chicky nugs on the way currently, or? Scuff is the cool new being new and cool. Let's scuff it all up. Cock. Okay, that's, that's, excuse me, sir. That, that's, that's wildly inappropriate, okay? Even as a subholder, we're, we're not, we're in a professional meeting right now, okay? And all, you're coming here with your chicken nuggies and your cock, bringing all those unprofessional scuff vibes into the meeting. This is your first warning, okay? I'll call HR. I'll call HR. All right. Can, can we can we pull it back a little bit? All right. First, it was the it was the, the ironic fascism, and now it's the cock. Can we get it together really quick? I'm trying to run. I'm trying to run a professional stream. Meet these nuts. Gosh, we can't say anything, can we? Racism. Click to add title professional. Can you lig? My balls. How about live executions on Steam? Do you think that would bring in the numbers? Of course the people have agreed to be executed. We want to keep it legal. Can we get a poll on that? LUL. At Sir Prinsidrobug I think so too. Click to add these nuts. At Future Skeleton Club I'm liking this. We should develop the idea a little further and then roll out widespread execution monetization. We're the bourgeois, so fascism has been pretty appealing lately. Did we fire the people who make slides? Can we rehire them? What if we charge people to execute them? I'm sure someone will be willing to pay. It's a niche no one else is exploring right now. We are CEOs you know. How am I supposed to establish myself as a well-respected executive if I don't sexually harass you? Please don't be racist, going fast scares me. At Quartonexus as long as it's monetized then it's okay. When is the section for planning the next month in the subholders meeting? Whoa easy there Thomas Jefferson. At Quartonexus the most important detail would be making back higher returns than the cost of losing that worker. Sure Diggs what plans have you got for next month? I mean people have to understand we're freeing them from being the product. It's for their own good. Pee pee poo poo. Guys management bought our hard working interns three boxes of donuts in the break room. If we hurry, we can steal them and they can't do shit. Shindigs, do you plan on having a stream that isn't racist? Where is the growth? At Jam's virtual LOL. How can we charge people for not nutting all November? There has to be money in retention. What if we pay people to watch, we can call it something cool like hmm let's call it a boost. Do we have a graph for the next quarter? I like pretty pictures. Make Tendi number go up. Okay, you, you're all out of control. You're all out of control. All right, and I, I get it. I get it. I get it. You see the numbers, and 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 people like you use froth. All you care about is, are the numbers. You don't care about any of this. You just care about the numbers. You see them. Your mouth starts frothing. Your butthole start frothing. You start convulsing. I get it. Well, I'm here. I'm here to give you what you want. I understand. It was never about the content. It was never about the stream. It was never about the community. You just want these delicious dividends. You just want these numbers. You just want these stonks. Okay, I get you. I understand. I get it. I understand. Perverts. You, you, you numerical perverts. Brothers, Divi brothers, we getting it. We are by nature a rent-seeking class. 
Shindig stonk's number go up good. It, it's not, it's not going up. I need my fix, man. That number, it has to increase. We pay your salary young man, you better treat us with respect. So let's recap. In a single day, Twitter went from giving official labels to all legacy verified users Elon killing that rollout giving official labels to just brands forward slash companies killing that rollout to the numbers are highly inelastic. I am illiterate. I crave large graphs with big numbers. Question. Shindigs are you actually planning on sharing all your shares with us or still keeping them to yourself? I wanted to hold a few this meeting. I'm super horny for stunks. Listen Shindigs, what I'm about to tell you is top secret. Big number, go brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Maybe 10 minutes out or something. Okay, no, no one's getting an update on the chicken nuggets. I thought lines were straight. What the heck is that? Look, look, here, here, is, here are the numbers. Here's the line. Here's the line that you want. All right? Here, here is the line. It's going up. I drew it. I make it, I make it big. I make it thick. I make it red. Yes, it's nice. It's nice and thick. It's a nice thick line. Not good enough. Well, that's all we can afford right now. We're running really lean. We're running super lean. We're running this stream really lean. All right. So this is all we can, we can afford is, is this line. It's, it's nice and thick and it's going up. Can I put numbers on that line? We don't really have budget to, to label the graph right now, okay? But our revenue is increasing. Our revenue is increasing. Subholders, I'm proud to announce that we've increased the number of subholders to 98 subscribers. 99 actually as of, uh, maybe, maybe more, 99. Yes, we have increased our subholders up to 98 subholders and 99 uh, <laughs> 99 since the start of the stream. So they just keep going up. The numbers, the numbers just keep going up. The numbers first just keep going up. Oh shit. <laughs> Inexperienced streamer, thank you for the gift sub. I if there's one thing I've learned from this past month of streaming is if I show a number on the stream, if I show any number on the stream, someone wants to gift us up. <laughs> I, I should have put something under here that says like, don't gift because you th you see this number. We are officially at 100 subscribers. Thank you. <laughs> is this a st statistic live? No, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it live. I'll, I'll get the live one just for you. I'll get the live one. Uh, right here. Harness your viewers to giving more subs. Oh, I could. I have very evil ideas to do that, but I'm not. I'm restraining myself. There, 100. You did this. You did this just now. So thank you for, for your support, uh, for the 100 sub holders. And we, we should do a 100 sub holder celebration soon. Uh... But we'll see. We have a lot more content coming up in the next week. So maybe one of those will just act as the 100 subholder celebration. But this is crazy. This is awesome. Thank you, everybody. Um, I'm going to talk about what we've been putting the subholder investments into for the past month and what we're going to, what investments we're going to make big bets on uh, in the coming quarter. So, oh, God. Future Skeleton Cup. <laughs> Thank you. Holy shit. Five subholders. Oh my god, why didn't you get the, the triple kill? I'm gonna get you the triple kill. How do I do that? Uh, wait a second. Okay, so that all works out. Oh, I know why. Uh, hold on. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that you get the triple kill. I think I gave you some bonus kills, but you deserve the, those bonus kills. Uh, I want to make sure that this is in the right group. All right, there we go. That should work. Bring those new projections into this meeting. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. The numbers are going up live. Very true. Very true. And the bodies... The body count is stacking up. The body count is stacking up real, real high. Every time the announcer says uh, a kill streak announcement, every time the announcer says a kill streak announcement, I'm gonna show an actual person dying on stream. Mordecai, thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for thank you for two months and being verified and being important. That's what's important. Thank you. Welcome to the subholders. Welcome to the subholders meeting. Welcome to the subholders meeting. And for uh, that, what was that? Multi kill, kill, killing spree. How many more have to die? When when people come up to me and they say, "Hey, I, I've been really liking your stream lately. You're really killing it." 
in my mind, I just, I just ask if someone, if, if I'm killing it, then who's dying and how many more people have to die and how many more people have to suffer. But now we know with this, <laughs> with, with the new kill streak announcer, now we know how many more people have to die. So thank you for uh, your support. And, uh, I, I will be talking about what we're going to invest in, in, in the, in the coming quarters. It was a rampage. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So the numbers have been going up. All right. The numbers are going up. They're going up like crazy. They, they keep going. They go higher and higher and higher and higher. And that's what you want. That's what you sick little frogs want. But, I, but as uh, the CEO of this stream, I'm here to fulfill my fiduciary and my uh, content issuary duty to serve you and and your subholder needs. Yeah, I got the long boy sub. Is there any risk of number going down? Big number. This line is not good enough. I'm going to show you what's thick and is going up. We need more 69. Can you make the number play the Pornhub sound? The number can never go down. I fear the numbers. Monkey S. Wait, I never considered that the number could go down. How do we stop that? I need more wine. I'm not drunk enough yet. Embrace growth. What do they mean? Has anyone made a funny sex joke yet? Like the number goes up and the sex goes, I don't know I feel like I'm so close to it. Manifest growth. The man washing the window has his cock out. Can we monetize the number going down? We can stop the number from going down by making it go up five head. Number go up, but why Borat quote usage, go down? That's what she said. Grow, grow, grow number go up money forever. Can you get a tally tattoo never, for never, every never sub you get? I, never fucking, I, never fucking I want to mark you like Victor's ass. Make the number look like it's 68 so that one guy will always sub. My wife. Ultraviolet Sheep just raided the channel with four viewers. Thank you, Ultraviolet Sheep. By Odin's Sheep. hairy taint you can't stop that line going up. Hello, raiders. Time to invest. The man washing the window is gyrating. Time for the numbers to keep going up. Raiders, join us in hoping that the numbers go up and not down. Welcome to the meeting interns. The time is now and this is the ground floor. Raiders, what value do you bring to the table? We should kill more raiders. Invest in what exactly? Straight to the moon. In talking iron hands and infinite money. Invest in the shares. Sonic Inflation E621. Hey Raiders time to show you our big thick line. Share in the wealth. Did these Raiders bring us our chicky nugs? What the hell do you mean in hoping they don't go down? We have shindigs looking after our numbers. They will never go down. Holy shit that's how we keep the numbers up, kill the Raiders. Invest in investment. Wealth go up money go up I'm talking real number numbers. All right, okay. Okay, that that's enough. That's enough. That's that's enough from from the, the shirt from the subholders. Ultraviolet sheep, thank you for thank you so much for rating. Hope you had a good stream. What were you guys doing? We are having a subholder meeting where we go through the last month's numbers which have been going up. That's what these sick little frogs want. That's what all these sick little frogs want. They just want these numbers to keep going up. And uh, we were just going over the last month's viewership numbers, subscriber numbers, and we were just celebrating the numbers going back up. So later in the stream, we're going to be talking about what we're going to, what key strategic investments we're going to be making for uh, 
for this quarter and the next quarter to, to keep those numbers going up. And I swear to God, if any of you even think about the numbers going down, I'm going to show up to your house. I'm going to make those numbers go up personally. That's not a threat. That's a promise. I'm going to keep delivering on these numbers, which is up, which, 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 is, which is to keep them going up. Okay. So uh, we, in the past month, we've actually invested, you know, the whole network has invested in some pretty cutting edge uh, stream concepts to keep the numbers going up. So first I want to applaud uh, the team for signing the frog tank, the frog tank concept and getting all these frogs on board. They've come from incredible, incredible entrepreneurial backgrounds and just bringing them on, onto, uh, into this network and having them use this platform to make more investments, make more numbers go up and really show people how business is done and how deals are made. It's been it's been a real game changer. It's been a real game changer for this network. I've been using spray on toilet paper for weeks now, and I'm cancer free. Call me an absolute value function because all I produce is positive numbers, baby. I prefer to invest on Raid, Shadow Legends, an immersive online experience with everything you'd expect from a brand new RPG title. It's got an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss fights, PvP battles. I've taken a triple dose of Viragar that thick is never going down. Deals deals deals. I heard that the blasting business is going well, numbers are going up and whatnot. Never mind, I hate Raid Shadow Legends now. Did someone say Raid Shadow Legends? I wish I had come up with a pitch for Shark Tank. I've noticed the last few meetings everyone has the same jokes they keep making. What isn't performing? What do we need to divest in to pivot our shift flow diopters? We need freshness for the numbers to go up. You got that shindog in you. My hands are super greasy right now. Anyone else? Here, touch my hands. That walk in Japan was nice. Maybe next time we can hold hands and stuff. We love jokes here. I've raided your mom's shadow legends. Does anyone have any numbers on the spray on toilet paper? Okay, we're not here to talk about the investments made on Frog Tank. But what I am here to talk about is we're going to keep bringing back uh, we, we've done, we've signed an entirely new, uh, we've, ah, we've signed an entirely new season of frog tank. We're going to be bringing in more frogs. We're going to be making more deals and we're going to be looking at more incredible investment opportunities. And that's all thanks to everybody, uh, in it, who, who holds us up to all the subholders. It's all thanks to our subholders for making this new season possible. Thank you. Thank you. My, my arms clip for you. My, my arms are clipping for you. Thank you. Clap. Please clap. Please clap or I'm giving I'm taking away your verification badge. Ugh. Okay. This tracking's messed up. This tracking's messed up. Clapping noises, yeah. Okay. We've also, you know, I think a lot of us here. We, we, we come from a background where we love making deals. We love making investments. We love seeing numbers go up. But a key part about expanding the audience demographic of the stream is investing in new types of content that may not typically appeal to, let's say, disgusting online Twitch chatters. Which is why I'm proud to announce our investments into a new content vertical, which is dating shows. Uh, you know, last night you saw the premiere of a new a new concept uh, where we take various frogs in the chats on on different dates. Uh, it it's it appeals to a, a different kind of demographic who's less focused on number number based content and more into the feelings, 
more about the emotions, okay? And we saw great ratings and great success with this concept. And I'm happy to announce we've also signed a new season of, uh, we don't have a name for it yet, but um, well, we're gonna go out to more nice restaurants and then expense it on the company card. Yeah, expensing things. I love expensing things. Do you guys love expensing things? I love expensing things. Clap. I want to take you out on a date, Mr. Diggs, you're so handsome. Wonderful. Mark a player. Clap for the clap. Pause champ backhand index pointing right shindig stonks business expense. Great for tax write-offs. Where'd they put the Diet Dr. Pepper machine go? I love Diet Dr. Pepper. I like to collect a year's worth of receipts and dump them on my intern's desk to process my expenses. Wet handshakes, wet dates, we're doing this. Just to pivot because we love pivoting. You have to hustle. My frog tank suggestion is we rig the election. We give everyone $100 for voting for us. We're not on frog the tank The population right now. of America is 332 million. So that's $3.2 billion. Just that much and we can own America. Now you might say outright offering people $100 to vote for you is a lega, but I say once we are in power we make legal what we did. Then we give ourselves the money back plus more, and we nuke anyone who disagrees. Who wants to invest? Why do my hands look so tiny? I shouldn't have taken those shrooms before the meeting. Numbers going down don't mean nothing if they're on a company card. Brothers, I need your help. How do I lose my virginity? I'm a 22-year-old dude and 6 foot 4. What the hell should I do to improve my looks? I used to be like super thin twink, but I've gained a lot of weight and now have a dad bod. I literally went from swimmer's body to 50-year-old dad bod in a matter of 6 months or so. We should invest into more TikTok dances. Shindigs is the king of stunks. Anything that's not remakes. Just kidding I like the streams. HR loves it when you hand them a grocery bag of receipts from the last year. Why are my hands so moist? Very important question. Comedy will be allowed on stream? I need help and advice on shaving my butthole and cheeks. How do you do it? A friend? You just bend over? Sit on hot wax? Okay, I think we're getting a little off topic right now. So let, let, let's just focus right back into our content investments. So the last thing I want to talk about here is uh, we've developed technology to destroy the stream quality if people were not chatting enough. And I'm proud to announce that starting next quarter, we will begin investments in monetizing this technology. So what does that mean for subholders? Well, it doesn't mean really anything for subholders. Your experience will not change. But what does this mean for non-subholders? Well, for non-subholders, what this means is we are going to continually degrade the quality of the stream until uh, and then force them to pay for it to improve. And so we've been able to map the bit rate, the audio quality, and we just threw in some, some, some fun effects just to mess with them, uh, directly tied to the dollar amount being spent. So congratulations to the subholders for uh, supporting the stream and getting an uninterrupted pure streaming experience. But if you're not a subholder, uh, things are going to get incredibly, incredibly annoying for you. And we're proud. We're proud of that. We're, prou we're, we're proud to be bringing you this new amazing technology that we've invested in. So... Uh, we, 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 we're concepting out a few more things such as, uh, every time you chat, uh, the stream not only degrades in quality, but goes back in time to different visual and audio mediums. So for example, you can imagine a stream in which chats happen so quickly that it turns into a stop motion kind of film or like a black and white film with no audio. And if you chat fast enough, it goes back to like a talk radio kind of thing like a fireside radio chat and then you get you, you chat even further and then it's like a guy reading a newspaper of the stream and you chat even further 
and then it's a it, it's a rock it's just a rock with like with other rocks banging against it so we're really trying to push it and make make the stream pretty unwatchable unless you're you're spending any amount of money which which is the entire goal here so cave painting that i like your thinking i like your thinking i think you should be a sub holder you should be a sub holder you you have the right thinking for a sub holder absolutely so that's been our content investments in the past month and the result of these content investments is does anyone know what the results of these are the results of these investments are the number has gone up the number has gone up the number has gone up numbers go u p p p p Number. I post on Twitter, and I enjoy it. Please follow https colon slash slash twitter.com slash shindags. By degrade, do you mean like submissive ball and gag type stuff? Chips dips? Chains whips? Shindig stunks, shindig stunks, shindig stunks. But I'm poor what I do. Extortion, we love it. Always love upping the oppression level. We can't afford growing more shindigs, we need to keep our circle very strict. Sorry, what is number again? It's getting harder and harder now that interest rates are going up. The monthly payments would kill me basically anywhere you would want to post is too expensive and I am too poor to live where I can afford. I might just have to end up renting until my income goes up or I get a GF who wants to live together. Feels bad man. What if we stole channel points from other streams, then number goes even upper? Growth seems exponential. We need more cross-referential content. Build a shindig cinematic universe. These silly viewers think they can come in here and chat without being a subholder. Utter delusion. What about tiny hats? What if hats were I don't know like a tiny little hat? Uh, yeah, I'll take that feedback down and I'll circle back on the tiny hats, right? I'll circle back on the tiny hats, hats sir. Tiny hats? You, you, wanted, you wanted tiny hats. Okay, so that was me going over. That was going over the previous month's content and technological investments. But now let's start uh, talking about the future of our content investments. Uh, before that... I do want to make a very, very special announcement. All right. And this is all thanks to you subholders in the chat. I want to make a very, very special announcement. I'm announcing my first ever merchandise drop. And I couldn't have done this alone because I've reached out and collaborated with one of the biggest, and in my opinion, one of the best merchandise vendors on the planet. They understand the value of the stream. And it's really important that I find someone who actively watches the stream, who kind of gets what we're trying to do here and, and just likes to have fun like the rest of us, right? And they value the same things that we value, which is uh, membership cards, $1.50 hot dogs, and buying things in bulk. That's why I'm really excited to announce my first merchandise drop, merchandise drop with Costco. Costco is now selling the official stream hoodie at all participating Costco warehouses. And you can go to your local Costco warehouse and pick it up. I don't see any residuals, you know, I'm just a nice, I'm a nice guy. Just helping out a, a small business, a small vendor like them. I was like, you know what? Your numbers, they're not they are not really going up as fast as mine. So just keep it. Just keep it. Uh, but it would mean a lot, I think, to Costco if you went out and purchased uh, a sweatshirt. and Or you can buy it online. I think you might still need a membership card. But you, you can buy it online. All right. So this is super exciting for me. I've purchased mine. You know, I could have gotten for free, but I just said, Hey, you know, just I'll, I'll throw you, I'll throw some money that way. Got a hundred subs. You know, I got a hundred subs. It's just, just take, just take it, just take it. Um, 
and they've they've been an incredible partner. They've been in, they, they they've been an absolute incredible partner in in this whole journey for merchandising. So thank you, Costco. I I really really appreciate uh, all the sorry work you put I'm in. late. Costco sweatshirts are all well and good, but can we circle back on the tiny hats? I think they have real potential to make number go up. We could even do Costco tiny hats. What happened to the advertising campaign of Shindig's toilet seat covers at major convention centers nationwide? How much did this make us exactly? In billions please. Billions of numbers, I mean. I'm not a Costco member, Sag. What about DIY programming? I want to know how to shave my ass. You owe us all a hot dog for these shenanigans, shindigs. Writing's not easy. That's why Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read. It undermines the writer's message and the word choice is bland. Grammarly's cutting-edge technology helps you craft compelling, understandable writing that makes an impact on your reader. Much better. Are you ready to give it a try? Installation is simple and free. Congrats on the merch. You think Costco would sell anything tiny you buffoon? It's gotta be huge if it's from Costco TM. Costco is only in America. I thought we were an international business. We're going we're going to we're going to start you know locally. They're also in Canada. That's right. They're also in Canada. We're going to start locally and then branch out into the future to the international market, okay? That's what I think is a smart investment. We're not going to take off more than we can chew. Does that make sense? I know not all of us are very business minded in the chat, so sometimes I got to slow it down. Got to slow it down for the people who aren't really thinking about the numbers as much as I am, but I appreciate you. I appreciate uh, the suggestion and we'll circle back. We'll, we'll circle back. We'll close the loop on that. So tiny hats. Okay. You want I, feedback heard. You want tiny hats. We'll make tiny hats happen. Don't worry. So uh, future continued investments that our, our new network is going to, uh, I, I flubbed that continued investment in new network content. Music streams are coming back, 100%. We're going to have new adventure streams. We're going to have collabs. We're going to do our first ever Sufferthon, where the more I suffer, the, the stream will keep going. And then we're going to have one big streaming surprise. And this is a lot. This is a, this is a lot to take in. All right. This is a lot of content to take in. What I'm excited to announce that we'll be seeing a lot of this content not next quarter, not next month, but starting next week. Maybe not the Sufferthon. The Sufferthon is probably next month, but, but a lot of this is next week. Clap. A lot. And I mean a lot of people are talking about tiny hats. Can anyone tell me about these tiny hats I keep hearing about? Are tiny hats the new big hats? He's gonna be super destroyed. What's an adventure stream? In November. Impressive. I liked when you clapped for yourself. Shin, dig a festive party often with dancing. Also called Shindy. I can't believe Bank of America calls itself Buffet Online. Buffet what? D's nuts. Looking forward to this Sufferthon, everyone knows there's a direct relationship between suffering and numbers going up. The Sufferthon never ends, baby. Any progress on the intravenous advertisements? Is the surprise shaving your ass? If the but numbers go up, we'll have to ass. execute you on stream, for the numbers, of course. Is this experimental content? Tell us the surprise, though. Costco is a membership warehouse club, dedicated to bringing our members the best possible prices on quality brand name merchandise. 
With more than 800 locations worldwide, Costco provides a wide selection of merchandise, plus the convenience of specialty departments and exclusive member services, all designed to make your shopping experience a pleasurable one. Will you be wearing tiny hats in the Sufferthon? Is a Sufferthon like a Subathon? Is it a type of thong? The game show episode was big because of the violence. We need more violence. Can we replace every stream with a Sufferthon? He's gonna shove a whole Costco up his ass. Will shaving your ass be a part of the Torturathon? Ah. Uh. Costco in Japan too. Is the surprise shaving your nuts? If so charge extra. He's gonna take us back to the past. To get the numbers go up and not ass. Can we put Kirkland's signature on the tiny hats? Are tiny hats the new tiny nuts? Every stream already is a sufferthon though. That you would be correct, you would be correct, but we're going to introduce new suffering technology. So we've begun work on the upcoming Supperthon, the surprise stream, the collabs, the adventure streams, the music streams. Uh, I would say four, one, two, three, four, five, maybe four of the five next week, if not three of the, definitely three of the five, if not four of the five. So look forward to it and you know what i mean next week the month basically ends because after that it's the thanksgiving break so after next week i mean ne there's only one more month in november really why is my head this way okay fixed it fixed it fixed it fixed it fixed it all right thank you thank you i'm, I'm very excited to, to announce all these uh all the new content uh another content announcement is i started a uh, vod channel so I, I'm slowly going through the backlog of VODs. They're not going to be in chronological order for like everything we did in the past month and a half. But this is real. No, this is real. Uh, there's the link under the channel, the video player. Uh, let me link it here as well. Whoops. I was like, silly me. I thought that was the link, but no. There are only three videos I have to, um, that I have to like, there are only three videos up right now because I'm just manually clicking through it on Twitch and they're pretty, they're just on un straight unedited. They're unedited highlights from Twitch. Um, I am also working on edited videos on my own, but that's going to take a bit longer because I don't know anything about editing. For now, th there is a VOD channel. I do have a main YouTube channel, but I don't, I don't really update it right now. But it's going to get some more love in the next month. And so a lot of people have actually asked me for this. And I am not someone who watches Twitch VODs on YouTube. I actually just watch them directly on Twitch because I like the chat replay. But I, it seems like I am the freak here. It seems like I, I do the fucked up thing. It seems like I have no idea what I'm doing. And the normal thing to do is to watch things on YouTube. So... Uh, so I, I did the normal thing for most people and I'm going to be, I will upload this, I think in its entirety, even though I, I would prefer to edit out the opening parts, but I'm going to upload this stream in its entirety. I'll probably clip out the pre, the pre treat, you know, the pre stream. We're doing absolutely nothing, just chatting, but, uh, yes, all VODs in the future should be going up to this. I'm going to make it a point to just just raw dog it raw dog it straight into the vod channel unedited and then i'm personally going to be managing edits on my main channel but i will uh announce that when that is actually ready if you join the discord you'll get all the announcements for all the all the vod updates you have a, you have subscribed to the vod channel yes subscribe to it or don't like this is i'm not trying to like make this uh please get me to 1 million subscribers this is this is Primarily for your convenience, because people have said this is the most convenient way for them to watch a VOD on YouTube. I personally like it to watch it on Twitch. I have learned that is freakish and monstrous behavior, and I, I apologize. I, I apologize to you all for thinking that.
It is freakish and monstrous behavior. Are you going to shave the turkey's ass on Thanksgiving? Is there nair topping on that pie instead what of whipped cream? What does shaving a turkey's ass have anything to do Subscribers with what I just talked about? Subscribers can get tiny hats for tiny nuts. Or even normal hats for big nuts. You guys ever sneeze and your entire body hurts? No, just me? Okay, I'll leave then I guess. Twitch has terrible video playback environment. Jibasted. Is the stuff worth in Thanksgiving with family? No, that's not the suffer. That's not the suffer. Well, you could wear a tiny hat while you shave the turkey's ass. I think Twitch is a terrible tiny hat platform. Not to be rude, but there isn't even a way to find new hats or smaller, tinier hats on Twitch. Why is there someone talking about shaving an arse? Twitch deletes VODs automatically for affiliates. At Jake underscore Dibens, actually that happens to me it what's wrong me, it feels like I'm temporarily stabbed by a million needles. Uh. Okay. Um. What was my train of thought? Oh, uh, I, I, Twitch playback for me is okay, but I totally understand for most people, it, like, this is just way easier. And I've just been lazy. That That's, like, the main excuse. But I finally got around to it, uh, and so it's there. And I will upload, I will upload this stream after this, and then I'm going to upload, keep going through the backlog, so it's going to be out of order for like a while. I hope that's okay. I'll try to make a playlist to make it chronological. But as I catch up with the backlog, and I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to upload everything in the backlog. Just like stuff I think is is, is, a, is a banger. Um, the, especially the further I go back. Like the further I go back, I'll just be like, oh, I'll just skip this one. But going forward for sure, we're going to uh, just upload the stream archives here. So, yay! Well, I hope you guys enjoy that. All right. Uh, next up, let's talk about new subholder benefits. We're going to be rolling out a lot of new benefits for becoming a subholder on this channel. And I think a lot of them you're going to be pretty excited about. I think you're going to be pretty excited about these new subholder benefits. And then you can go to your friends and say like, yo, check out my subholder benefits on this channel. It's way better than being a subholder on this other channel. So you should just take your money and put it towards this channel. And that's how we're going to effectively steal from all the other streamers on Twitch and, and bring them here. Okay, no, not really. No, just kidding, just kidding. No, not I'm not doing that. I wanna make sure that you are getting value out of your subholder things. And the primary, the primary reason people subscribe, the primary reason people subscribe, believe it or not, uh, is, is they just like to support the channel. Okay, they're just like, oh, this is a cool channel. I want to support it. And that's it. But uh, I want to add more benefits beyond that. I want to make sure that when you become a subholder, you feel like uh, you're cool or, or you get you get some actual benefit out of it. But and so that's going to come in the form of obviously the emotes we've gotten, but also uh, investing those subholder funds into some cool stuff. But let's talk about that right now. Thank you for continuing your sub. Easy cheesecake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, wow. There's no alert for that. I'm going to remember that. We're going to fix that. So uh, the first subholder benefit is I put all the subholder funds into new emotes that you can use in chat. So all of these emotes were done by cute tape art. I'm actually like standing over their image. Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay, they, they did an incredible job. They did an incredible job with these emotes. Um, they had some really funny ones that I asked them to make and they did a super good job, especially this one. I think this is my, to be honest, this is straight up my favorite one. I like this one too. I straight up sent a reference, like the, the Christian Bale screaming with blood on his face, American Psycho thing as a reference. And this is cute, but it came out, I think, a little too cute. And this one really exemplifies like the 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 horror, the the psychosis. So I think all of them are wonderful. All of them are very cute. 
And they're actually actively looking for commissions right now. And so it was really great working with them. Uh, it took about like two to three weeks. I think that's pretty fast actually right now, given nearly every emo artist I look for was booked up. And they, the process was really straightforward and good. So if you need them, it's cute tape art on Twitter. And every emote that is created by them, I've attributed them on Twitch. So if you forget, you can always come back to my channel, click on the emo, and then it will say their name under there. It'll say their uh, Twitch account, which they have all their info. So yay, new emotes. We're going to keep trying to make new, you know, filling up the emote slots when we unlock more emote slots. The next emote lot slot unlocks at, it says we're at 116 points right now. That's 150. So that's, uh, I think it's 30 more subs. So that's doable. But I think that's like only, I don't know how many more slots that is, but that is more, but that, that that's not what I'm goaling uh, this channel around right now. So I think these, these are going to be fun. They'll hold us over. And then honestly, I have a lot of stupid emotes that I made myself that I could just delete and just like put in actual artist emotes into there. I like some of the stupid ones though, but we can always do that as well. And these are also all uploaded on Discord for you to use. Yay. Can you make, okay, I promise, I promise I will implement tiny hats. I promise I will implement tiny hats, okay? That is my promise to you as sub holders. I will implement the tiny hats. Tiny hats are coming. You heard it here first. I'm announcing it. I'm announcing it. Tiny hats are coming to the stream. Yay. Tiny hats. That's ridiculous. What could we even do with tiny hats? You asked for the tiny hats. Damn it, that means he won't add big hats. I Why does he get hats. tiny hats and I don't get a Costco Shindix razor? Ass shaving is a Christmas Eve activity meant to be enjoyed by the entire family. Any way we can get normal sized hats? Can I have a big tiny hat? But what happened to the thick line? I am worried about the, the thick numbers. The line is fine. Okay, I was getting some pushback for what I said about tiny hats, I take it back. They might be a good idea, I guess. What about tiny hats on top of even tinier hats? What if those are inside of even tinier hats? I am worried the tiny hats will not fit my head. Is there any way we could make them smaller? Shindig's Hyper Squad. Have you in plans for cross promotion? What is this bit, bro? No, you, you guys want the tiny hats? You have my commitment. Tiny hats are coming to the stream. As early as, I want to say next week, but that's going to be crazy. Tiny hats will come to the stream by next month. That's the commitment, if not earlier. Tiny hats are in, okay? Along with the emotes. Next slide. You guys are all fixated on tiny hats right now, but what's coming up next is even better. And a lot of you have already been reaping this benefit, which is for just $5 a month or one free Amazon Prime sub, you can be verified on my stream. On Twitter today, you have to pay $8 for a blue check mark and they reduce 50% of the ads that you see. On my channel, you can pay $5 for a blue check mark and reduce the ads you see by 100%, a completely ad-free experience. So I'm just saying, multi-billion dollar corporation or my stream, you know? And I kind of think my tweets are pretty good too. All right, you get that for free. You get that for free. And I'm not a Redditor. I think incredible benefits, incredible benefits. So 
Uh, thank you, everyone who has become a subholder so far. You're all verified, so I know you're an actual authentic subholder in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's incredible. That's incredible. Give, give yourselves a, a round of applause for all the verified subholders in the chat. Undercutting Twitter. Holy schmoly, this is good stuff. Not many people have the business acumen to do something like that. I'm actually a Shindig's parody account. This is what I deserve. Clap for all the verified only. Ballot box with check. My check mark is on the wrong side. Hi there, my name is Shindigs, and boy howdy do I love Hello Fresh and Elon Musk. I didn't say I'm that. I'm so glad I subbed this as a euphoric experience. I want to commit tax evasion so being verified is not good for me. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe not the tax evasion, but... Just because you deleted Reddit off your phone doesn't mean you don't occasionally browse it once in a while, you fucking Redditor. I know. No. Wait, did he say he was a Redditor? I did not say I was a I Redditor. I love tax evasion. Okay. Uh, before we talk, you know, before we give all give ourselves a pat on the back for verification, there's one more benefit to being verified on my stream. I'm excited to demo this live for all of you. If you are a subholder moving forward and you use a channel point reward, an eligible channel point reward, it will show that you are an, you are a verified subholder on the channel point reward. Now I've just activated one of our most popular rewards right now for you to test it out. Boom! Verified. Oh shit, it's not- Wait, why did he get it? Wait, you're not verified! You're not verified! Wait! Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! Oh no, fuck, oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, wait, wait, turn it, stop it, stop it. Ah, stop it. <laughs> Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, hold on, let's debug that. Let's, let's... <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They'll be fired. They'll be fired. Don't worry, don't worry. They'll be fired. They'll be fired. I'm firing them. I'm firing them. No! Why did that happen? Hold on one second. Okay, let me check this really quick. I'm doing this live. I'm debugging this live. Oh, shit. Okay, this is the problem. That is the problem. Okay, now I'm going to refund. Don't worry, subholders. I'm going to refund all your points. Oops. Right, there we go. Uh, Where is it? Where is it? All right. Well, everyone's getting this as of 20 days ago. So if you use this reward in the past 20 days, you're getting the points back. Okay, subholders, I'm sorry. I've I have completed the fix. That's why, you know, that's why I'm the genius CEO of this company. Uh, the genius CEO engineer. I can I can I can program really fast. That's why you hired me. Okay, and then let us actually let's do this. Okay. Let's try that again. I've actually I can't test this with because I'm I'm sub to my own channel, so I actually need this to be tested. Does it work? Oh. oh! No, yeah, you don't deserve it. 
You don't deserve the verification. This next one should be verified. There we go. Okay, one more. One more. Oh, it's fucked? Why is it fucked? Why? Why? Substat. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Okay, I'm going to redo this. No, we're going to fix this. I, I, this bugs me. I'm going to fix it. I am using Sammy, yes. It's a it's a logic thing. Uh why? Um Okay, here, here, here. Let's try this. Okay, do that. If this is greater. Oh shit, I think I know what the issue is. All right. What the fuck? If this is I see. That. But why didn't it Oh, because it deletes it at the end. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to test it one more time. Did I fix it? Well, I'm testing it live. Okay. It's tier, right? Okay, done. Nope. Please work. Please work. Please work. No! Wait, wait, wait. I know why. What? What? No, don't fucking SQL inject me, dude. Don't even... Don't even fucking try. Oh my god. That's so weird. What? Uh, it should be saving it here. Oh, shit. Okay. So if I do that, one more time, let's do it one more time. Okay, that worked. That worked. Did you save the... Okay, it's, it seems like it's working. It seems like it's working. Why did you slip through? Okay, well, everyone's using it and they're being verified. But okay. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's try this. 
Let's try this. Visible, not visible. Okay. I think we're gonna we're so I think I I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm stupid. Okay, nope, that didn't work. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. Why are you verified? Oh my god. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do this. I got it. I got it. Or... Or... I'm suffering right now. I'm suffering right now. Oh god. Oh god. This isn't the VOD. I just this is a straight add honor system at the end. Oh fuck. No. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Oh wait. Yeah, that, there we go. All right, non subholders. Can you can you test the can you test this? I'm so sorry for this delay, but it's bugging. This is the only way I can test this. Oh, okay. Okay, you're not verified. Good. 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 You're not verified. Let me give back everyone their points while this happens. You will get a everyone gets a refund. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay, so it takes a while. Fuck! Why is it different? Sad. Fucking I don't delete it. Did I try turning it on and off again? I have. I have. You know what? I'm trying to pull your subscription status and Twitch could just be like, you've done too much. You've literally done too much. You've literally done this too many times. They could have literally just been like, yeah, that's too much. Okay, no. Um, okay, there are the there is sub dot status dot tier. Oh, this is so dumb. This is actually the fucking dumbest thing. I, I realized the problem. For real. For real, I've actually I think I'm a genius now. Okay, refund. Reject all. Did that work? I actually didn't see that. That works. That works. That works. Verified scammer? No. No. Yes, yes we're working. We're coming. You're not verified. Oh my god. All right. Well, hmm.
Might be better recruited customers. Yeah, okay, fuck it. Uh, I think... I know how to test this later. Okay. Well, first four, first right. four. Oh, yeah. oh, Beerinator, thank you. Thank you for subbing. I'm sorry this isn't working. What? Why does it work for me? Okay, it's something... It's it like calling the Twitch API is like weird, basically. Uh, maybe if I make it like this. I don't know. It's fucking weird. Thank you for the first blood. All right, I'm going to stop fucking it, fucking around with this. All right. I'm still going to clip it like it actually works. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's still going to be a clip. It's still going to be a clip. I'm going to lie to everybody on the internet that this is actually working. Because it is going to work. It's going to work after this. Burinator, thank you for subbing. Thank you. Um... So, uh, let's pretend we live in the universe where that absolutely works. Let's pretend we live in a universe where that 100% absolutely does work. <laughs> your sub-benefits are not being taken away. They are being refined. Okay, They're your sub-benefits sub are being refined. Can't afraid to work towards a really cool idea. Yeah, I want to do it for the Kodak. I think I, uh, I think I know what the issue is. So, I, it's... I just need to find a friend who's not verified to test it for me, too. It always worked. Yeah, sorry. So there you go. That's that was such an incredible that was such an incredible demo, right? Where you could see that if you are a subscriber, you get special benefits for using the channel point rewards. So uh, we're going to make some continued investments on the stream. All right, which is we, we're going to get some new assets, which I don't really know what they're going to be. Perhaps a new model. I've been shopping around for someone to commission a new model around this. Uh, I have some requirements because you can tell I change, I guess, my clothes a lot. So I need to find a model that's going to support swapping clothes in and out, which I think mostly is fine. It'll just be working with the artist to make sure it's all compatible. Uh, and these question marks are like, I am taking suggestions from everybody. What should we... What should we invest our subholder funds with? All right. I can say that I feel pretty lucky. I don't think I need uh, the subscriptions to pay rent or anything. So we can put it all into something fun and interesting. Tiny hats. Okay. Tiny hats will definitely happen. Don't worry. Uh, but the last, I, I guess, you know, I don't have to pay rent with the sub money, but uh, I guess I will use some of it to buy stupid toys for myself. So boom. That I will show you, that I will show you, that I will show you on stream. <laughs> Celebrity cameos, cameo on the website. That's actually a really good idea. I should do that. Accessories. What kind of toys? Well, I bought a new MIDI controller recently for the music streams. So that, that was one toy that I bought. Um, get a model with opposable fingers. Okay. Yeah, I bought a MIDI controller. It was not that expensive i guess i'll buy some vst soon i'm actually gonna buy vst after the stream because it went on sale um so yeah i mean i mean i guess the money is being spent for for stream stuff uh and so thank you for your support thank you for for for, for sticking it out through the debugging and everything and, and also everything uh leading up to to this point and if you've been subbing for one month three months or two years. Thank you so much. Uh, I really want to put, I really want to think of it of, of, of like, I'm just Mr. Beast pilled. We're going to put all the money back into improving the stream in some way. That is just the mentality right now. What about a super detailed Gundam version with special effects and voice changer only be used once on April Fool's Day? <laughs> I've thought about actually commissioning a model that I would only use once, which, which I think would be really, really funny but I don't think that would be the best. That would that is not the best use of the uh, subholder fund. That is not the best use of the subholder fund. So, <laughs> but I, I guess if people vote and say that they want that, we could, we could do it. We could do it. But that would be a month of like literally just one bit. That's like everything just goes towards one bit. That's actually a great idea. That's a great idea. I, I'll, I'll hold an actual sub, uh, subathon where it's like. 
all funds will go to funding a really, really stupid bit. And that's it. That's actually really good. Not this month, but maybe next year. So the 180 on that idea. Well, I just imagine if it was real and if it was real, it would actually be kind of funny. So what if I trade models with someone? I want other VTubers to do that. That's a good idea. It would be really funny. Yes. Money into fixing my fingers so they move. I do have finger tracking, but uh, it's not worth it, in my opinion. It, it's not really worth it. Or I, I could get the gloves, but those are incredibly expensive. Those are like two, two to three K, I think, or a thousand dollars. So yeah, they're not really the fingers aren't worth it now. I'll look back into it, but the gloves are very expensive. The gloves can be very, very expensive. Yeah. VR is insane. Yeah. All, all the full body that I have is is uh I don't have a suit. I just have vibe things. Um that was it's not expensive compared to full motion tracking, but like for a consumer hardware thing, it was pretty pricey. Yes. Aren't we worth two to three K? Yeah, fuck it. You know, I'll just do gloves. I'll do gloves so I can just point at you at a higher fidelity. Yeah, fuck it. Well, uh, with that in mind, oh, I forgot to, there's, there's more slides. Uh, next month's goals, actually, we're gonna bring back emo night. Uh, if, if you, I think a lot of people are new here. They haven't seen emo night. We actually do a live rocksmith performance at the Denny's. Uh, Chad is, is really awesome. He's a part-time assistant at manager assistant at the Denny's. Also, no, Craig, sorry. Craig is the uh, part-time assistant at the Denny's, and he also lends out his basement for basement shows. Uh, I want to start streams earlier, uh, at least once a week for the East Coast Frogs. And and even twice a week, maybe even like almost every day. I, I just Starting things earlier would be better. Uh, adding w one more stream day, figuring out how that's going to look, but that's that's another goal. Uh, identify new strategic investments, which we were just talking about, uh, editing for the YouTube channel. So I'm, I'm starting to edit on my own and the surprise stream. I, I have a, an idea for a really fun surprise stream. And so I'm starting to work on that soon. Uh, why were you getting called frogs? Wait, what are you talking about? Aren't you guys frogs? I don't like that. LMAO. Will verified users get an edit feature? Shindigs pog shindiggers. N.O. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't, yeah, let's not type that word. I I know you don't guys don't mean to type that word, but uh let's let's avoid it in the TTS. All right. You you guys are not that. You are you are shin cells. That's the name you picked for yourself. You're you're shin cells. All right, I, there's the, I, it's, a, it's an honest mistake in the chat, but let's, let's pull it back. Let's pull it back right now. Shinsels. Shinsels is good. I like Shinsels. Shinsels and Allens. Frogs is cuter, but I guess that's okay. Verified Shinsel. Shinsels works. Shinsel works for sure. Repeating what you've muted, wouldn't adding a day of streaming remove your time preparing your banger ideas? Yes. Shinsel good, that's a huge number go up. Uh, yeah, so that adding Shinsel the day, sounds like something I put on a Christmas tree. Adding the day is, um, I have to rethink how to work stuff. So, I mean, the, the other thing with adding the day is we need a stream where I, I don't have to prep a ton. So it's either like a music stream or a gaming stream. Um, yeah, you know, to, to be real, like I played games before. Games are fun to stream, but I have a lot more fun playing games on my own. And it, it sucks to think like, oh, I can't play this because I have to play it on stream. Like that sucks. And I, I think ultimately what steers me away from playing games on stream is that whoa is that uh i think they're boring actually for most people 
I, I think people like to see more interesting streams and I like doing the more interesting streams. So um, do not discount the power of YouTube React. Yeah, so the other thing is I have a, a really long backlog of ideas. Like I've already recycled some ideas, but I need to get through the backlog of, of things. And I think they're interesting and good and, and you have fun with them. And, and the best game is the is the game that we're playing together, you know, the the, the text-to-speech and the React stuff. So um, I want to focus on that. That's been the focus. But I think one day where we can relax, react, look at stuff on the internet, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yes, exactly. I mean, like, no, Faust, you're absolutely correct. Like, I think... And people come here. I mean, people come here to watch things interesting. Like I'm not, I'm doing this because I want people to watch, right? Like that. I'm not. I'm not like I'm sharing myself for fun and like this is my. It's just who I am. I don't care who people show up. No, I want the. I want the fucking numbers to go up. I need those fucking numbers to go up. So, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. I like doing it. I like doing it a lot. It just takes time to do. I like doing it a lot. If I do a stream where I just kind of sit and chill, it's fine. It's fun. But if I do it too much, I get really, really restless. So the the short term pain of like, oh, I'm kind of stressed out before stream because I'm putting the idea together compared to the payoff of like people in the chat really enjoying it and like me feeling I actually did something good. That small pain is, is, is definitely worth it com to the payoff compared to like phoning it in just still feels worse anyway i need those fucking numbers to go up all right I need those fucking numbers to go up and it's it's not killing me okay uh i i think this would also be a good way to say that i am gonna take a break i am gonna take a break uh basically thanksgiving week i think i'm gonna get maybe one or two streams in maybe but then i'm gonna be gone from like thanksgiving week to december 4th Right. And then maybe a few I'm traveling. So like maybe a few days after that. So there is a break coming up. That's why next week, next week's content um, is going to be nutty. It's like I'm going to juice it and I'm going to pass out at the end of each day and then I'm not going to do shit. Yeah. And don't you guys want to say you got in early? Don't you guys want to don't you guys want to be early sub holders? Then your the value of your sub is going to go up. I'm trying to make all the numbers go up. Isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you frogs want? Early Ellens. Yes. I'm in at the ground floor. NFT sub implementation. The shin of Dog Street. Numbers, big numbers. Dig asterisk, damn it. No, because half of it go to Bezos, but tot sad. We are slaves of capitalism. But I work at a Bezos company, so... I have a fear so of missing it, out it on these D-I-A-M-O-N-D-H-A-N-D-S. Big Barhanker numbers. I want to be in a cult. N-O-N-O-N-T-F. Bad chatter. We're not doing NFTs. We're doing N-U-T's. More, more to come in the future, but we are doing N-U-T's, not NFTs. NFTs are on blockchain Nut. technology, but NUTs are on cockchain technology. Nut. 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 Big nut. Huge nuts inbound. Huge nut. Large nut. Almond. Massive nut. Walnut. Fear of missing nuts. Earlier another Shinsel suggested Twitter engagement streams. I think that can be easier to prep and still engaging and insightful for someone curious. Pistachio. NUTs. Nonstop nut. Big bazooka nuts exclusively of Shinsels. It appears the subholders are in unanimous agreement that nut. Nut. God, I have mind of a seventh grader. Lmao nut. YouTube shorts. Or for I mean. 
n.g.t. Where am I? Uh, I, I do have a TikTok, which I upload, like, I, I, I use a service that just uploads clips to TikToks. And some of them are pretty nice. I think some people here found the stream through TikTok. But I feel like if I focus, I, I've done this for about like a month and a half, actually. And I feel like if I focus on just editing things myself, um, the quality of the shorts will go up. And then those numbers will go up because right now me just like raw dogging the clip straight to TikTok is like, it's like fine, but it's like pretty RNG um, versus like, I feel like if I made a good YouTube video, that's like, a, there's a lot more in my control. Right. And then I'm building a skill. Like I'm building an actual like skill, which is editing. Um, plug the TikTok. Uh, I need a, I'll, I'll put it in, in discord or like, I don't, I don't know how to link it. You know what I mean? Like, that's the other thing. It's like, I'm not a, a Zoomer brain. I don't know how to link link TikTok. And there's not a lot to follow, I promise you. Uh, how about this? When I feel good about the shit on the TikTok, I will, I will plug it here. All right. Uh, I will plug it here. But like, right now, it's just, it's just, it's just garb. It's garb. It's super garb. Yes, editing these shorts to make the content high quality is good, but it can be very time consuming. I think right now for, for shorter form content i i don't need to take it from the stream i can i can just just like rip it offline like i have a few ideas i can just do offline and make those shorts but i don't want to be like a this is my mentality everything comes back to this stream right i don't want just to numbers go up on tiktok for numbers go up for for that's just not what i find joy in i I think I'll be singing a different tune when numbers will go up on TikTok. Then I'll be like, fuck you guys. I'm going to be on TikTok 24 seven. Um, but, oh yeah, Gander linked it. I send Gander all the good TikToks. We send each other all the good TikToks. Um, would, would potentially want an editor for TikTok. I will take, I'll take editor applications. It, it's been hard to find for personally for me editors. I, I will take, if you are interested in editing, uh, Reach out, and I'm happy to pay. We'll, we can work something out. Some subhold. I'm I'm happy to put some subholder money to editing. Uh, I I can't do like a ad revenue split because <laughs> I don't get ad revenue <laughs> on on YouTube. But like, we can definitely put subholder money to it. Like that's that's not hard. Or I can put my own money. Fuck it, you know. So I'm definitely open to that. I do want to edit some stuff myself just to like learn it and to rewatch VODs. That's like a good thing. But the mentality is the more like people playing the stream, the, the better it will be kind of thing or not, you know, obviously the rewards are going to look different at 3000 than like 30 people. And I do like how cozy the stream is. Do not get me wrong. How cozy the stream is, is very good. I'm, I am in a situation where I can just follow exactly what I want to do. I can, I can just follow exactly what I want to do and I don't have to feel like I need to do the, the thing. I need to do like the thing. I don't need to like comment on the thing unless I want to. Like, I think this whole Twitter verify thing is fucking funny. I think this whole Twitter verify thing is so fucking funny. It is one of the fucking funniest things I've, I've ever seen. And especially after working in a tech company for a while, it's even funnier. It's actually even funnier. I feel so blessed. It's so fucking funny. And so I I feel fine making jokes of it. But I definitely see people... I mean, I can't judge anybody for doing it. But there is definitely like a little meta as like you have to comment on it, right? To like stay in the loop. It's a real thing. Like if it, 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 I don't blame any larger or like if you're a, if content creation is your job like i get it like that's what you got to do you got to be plugged in you got to it's the attention economy right you got to get people's attention but i am lucky enough that i don't have to do that at least for me i consider myself lucky some people enjoy that and it's fine it's cool but uh i want to carve out exactly what i think i think the idea of the stream is and then we can go from there because then it's fun and unique right and then we have, you know, then the subholder thing is like actually kind of true. Then you guys can decide what we do. And then I get to decide what we do. So it's like a win-win. 
versus like i don't have to think about like what the next interesting game is or like what the next react meta is or like you know all these different types of things that can be very stressful so i'm very lucky i don't have to think about that and you know it's not all fun and games like the trade-off is like I'm not flooding my best friend's house and giving him $10,000 and getting 100 million views, right? That's the trade-off. I just don't do that and have a, a trillion dollars. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm, that wasn't supposed to be like a soapboxy thing. It, I'm just like, when when I think about people saying, not to say this was a bad suggestion, it's like, you got to get on TikTok, you got to do shorts. Like, that's true. But I, I try to think of it with the goal of uh i try to think of it of the goal of like if someone sees this the goal is not to make number go up on tiktok even though that would be fun the goal is to to have that person say this is really cool i want to watch the mainstream straight up that's like the, that's the 100 percent goal and the, youtube is a little different i think because like youtube is a great platform for monetization and reach but also for YouTube, that that is kind of the end goal, is that people see that it is coming from a stream and then they can come and participate in it if they want to. I mean, YouTube YouTube's a little different. Like there's some people who just can't make it. So that is that is that is kind of the thought. That is the that's the true numbers go up thought. Um but it's cozy, right? So I don't want to be like pure pure numbers go up. I think we can keep a cozy little situation going here. Uh, would I have ever multi-stream shorts can now tie back to live a lot better now? Uh, I want to multi-stream on TikTok, actually. I want to multi-stream on TikTok. Because I think we could do a really funny multi-stream on TikTok. I have heard from... I've heard anecdotes from other streamers say the same thing, which is like, the people who come from TikTok like just don't understand Twitch. And I've never experienced that, but that's very interesting to me. TikTok public is already educated into shorter content with Zoomer brain. It's not a good choice. Uh, yeah, but also it means like, I think if I want between stream clips or just making a small skit, I would rather just do a small skit on my own. TikTok lives are weird. Yes, they're insane. They're not weird. They're insane. But it's like a pure unfiltered look into the human soul. The number go up that the only number that matters the only number go up that matters is the number in your heart true uh, i would also say you can't make content unless you're content because if you make content sometimes making content can make you not content with what you have i think maybe YouTube Live has good discoverability. Shorts to YouTube Live has good discoverability. Okay, I'll try it out. I don't I don't know if I'll do YouTube Live because uh well no, I, I should try it. I think I should try it. I, I've just heard like setting it up is a pain. And to me, the benefit of YouTube Live only matters if you have a good YouTube channel. So the order of operations I would think I would I would proceed if I wanted to do YouTube live for sure is I would want to get good at making good YouTube videos first and making a good YouTube video. Like if we, if I think about, do I want to do another format of video? It is more interesting to me to do a good YouTube video than like doing the same thing I'm doing here, but on YouTube, if that makes sense. Like I think doing a funny little YouTube not essay, but just like a, a video about something compared to like just reformatting the stream for a YouTube live stream. I would take like editing that video any day of the week right now. That could change in the future. That's just my, that's just what my thought. Um, yeah, that's my thought. YouTube shorts engage better now, but it would attract VTuber fans already for new people in YouTube Voyage. Yeah. Oh yeah, short shorts are also popping off. Like there is a universe where YouTube shorts just kills TikTok. I actually believe that. I believe there's a universe where YouTube shorts like straight up kills TikTok. Yes, exactly. I, I've I've started downloading videos. I'm gonna start editing them on my own. 
And I feel like it's important to edit your own videos just so you understand what you're doing. I have hired an editor before and they were great to work with, but I didn't have great live streams when I did that, if I were to be critical of myself. But now I feel like we have an idea every live stream, so we can do that. Um, prepare some shorts beforehand to have leeway before more content. Yeah. I don't want to become a content farm, you know? That's that, I think... And that's not like a, a, a moral or value statement. It's just like how I want to spend my time because it's not my, it's like still, it's like, a, it's, it's a hobby. So I don't want to make it a second job. It is kind of already a second job, but I don't want the obligation. I, I feel like I have, after working a normal job for a while, I've completely internalized the feeling of like the dread of obligation. So I'm working hard to to not have that appear in other hobbies and that's just not for streaming i have other hobbies that that occurs in so yeah no but 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 the goal is number this number go up on twitch first floor, the first number floor. Go up on twitch oh dig anything thank you for following the goal is number go up on twitch 100 percent so uh, all the other things will serve will serve that i think live streaming is fucking awesome that's why that, that's that's the main goal. I think live streaming is cool. Um, and then the N N game is that I fucking the N N game guys. Here, let me let me let me let, let me let you in on the end the N N game. I get a bidding war between Twitch and YouTube, and I get that fat bag. Then I'm like, oh guys, I'm burned out of streaming, and I just I just fall off the face of the fucking internet with my fat ass bag. That's it. That's it. Then I'm fucking out. Twitter.com deleted. Twitch account deleted. YouTube account deleted. No, 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 no. I'm not going to use the money to take it to the next level. No, 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 no. I, I'm not. No, I'm just, I'm just gone. I'm fucking out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm on a farm. I'm reading. <laughs> oh, no. Clipped. Rooting my chances. Fuck. Fuck. No. Supporting for the scam. <laughs> it's not a scam. It's not a scam. Um hold on. Well, <laughs> there's one more slide. We're having a good discussion right now. There's one more slide <laughs> that says questions, but we're kind of already answering the questions. Uh hold on. Let me let me let me end let me end this subholder meeting by thanking everybody for attending the subholder meeting. And like every subholder meeting, we're going to end it with the traditional uh, VTuber body horror. Ah! Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh! God! It hurts! It hurts so much! It hurts so much! It hurts so much! Ow. Oh. Okay. Um. Am I velcroing my body to my hair? No, I, I, uh, I have a, I have a couple of Vive trackers that I have to velcro onto my body. Or strap. Um, hold on. Let me. Let me. One second. One second. Hold on. I, I need to readjust this, but then I can't let you see my settings. I think. What the fuck? There we go. Do I stream naked? No. I'm definitely not naked. 
Okay, hello, hi, hi. Hi gamers. Um Okay. So yeah, well that was a fun discussion. Um I'm trying to not get too sauced up about content strategy, you know what I mean? But I am trying to think about content strategy. As in, how can I be strategic about keeping myself happy? Or keeping myself like I'm doing what I, what I want to do. That's the content strategy. There's a lot of TikToks that give me anxiety that's like, this is how you can make a lot of content at once. And that's like content farming, which is cool. But I want to try to write out the... I want to try to ride the con the free range organic content as long as I can. I mean, the end game, like, I think this is just inevitable. If, if, if I ever decide I want to hyper grow the stream that we will go into the content farm kind of situation where you just need everything to be harvested and processed. But for now we want to maximize the free range organic content. Then we'll fucking sell the whole foods to Amazon. If you know what I'm saying. Then we're gonna fucking sell Whole Foods and Amazon. Ugh. All right, I'm sitting down like normal now. <laughs> All right, we will. Okay, I promise you. This is a prom. This is a subholder's promise. Tiny hats will come. We will have tiny hats. Pump contentment numbers. Yes. We will maintain tiny hats. Honestly, to be quite tbh. Uh. I've hit a lot of personal goals so far with the stream. So that's good. That's good. I like it. Uh Ooh, my brain. Anyway, well that's a that's a look into that's a look into this week's uh this month's subholder subholder meeting let's find someone to raid i'm gonna log off and tomorrow there will be a stream tomorrow there will be a stream i think it might be uh it'll be another idea maybe more low-key and then it's gonna be straight into preparing for next week's uh insane stream content so tomorrow there'll be a stream it's gonna be i said today would be early tomorrow i'm gonna really try to make it early around 6 or 7 p.m pacific uh oh the last thing, the last thing, it is actually a big goal of the stream that people are trained to attend the stream base, basically on the notifications, the stream notifications. I, I don't want to, I don't want to train people to think like, uh, they have to look at Twitter or discord. The ideal version for me is like someone actually sees the stream notification and, and likes it. And, and clicks through that is that is the dream that's the end game dream we're not there yet i don't think we're there yet, yet but yeah okay uh let us raid oh i haven't raided this person in a while um ashton martin so she is a artist vtuber well she's a vtuber not just an artist but she's drawing art right now but her concept is she is a i think mouse race queen vtuber but a really amazing unique aesthetic great personality on stream and just very cozy stream to be around uh and i to be honest like i think one of my favorite newer vtubers i've seen in the last year with like a very cool uh aesthetic they have like a lot of cool race queen slash race color stuff um i haven't rated them in a while yeah thank you guys oh also join um, join the discord. That is the number, the other number go up that we're trying to do that. I'm trying to, I've been trying to do is join discord. Everyone's been giving good ideas and good suggestions. Uh, feel free to chat it up. If you have a suggestion of more things you want to see, cause I'm, I'm willing to put in the, the work to make them happen. We've, I've been having a lot of fun. So thank you. All right. Uh, oh, raid message. Uh, what, what, what? Mind break rate. 
Wait, thank you guys. I actually really appreciate all the suggestions you come with the stream, whether it's like making short videos or something else. Um, having the conversation is, is really fun. Is really, really fun. So thank you. All right, let's go say hi to Ashton. Actually, okay, here's the other thing. People always ask, what were you doing on your stream? Oh, Shin Cell Mind Break is good. That's a great raid message. They always ask, what are you doing in your stream? And there's never a good answer. So what we need to make up a better answer. Like, I don't know. Just make something up. Just make something up what we, what, what we were doing. We had a content meeting. 